this time that we are passing through, it was said after the fall of Adam and Eve by the influence of Satan, who was representing at that moment as a serpent. I saw Satan as a serpent. I saw it, you know, I was, I have 11 years old. I was in the church with the priest who was my spiritual advisor at that time, and we have make adoration, you know, in the back. And I said to him, I don't like, uh, you know, the snakes. He said, not too much people like it. I said, but I, I feel that every time that, uh, you know, I have something great to do, the snake is around. He said, oh, yeah. He said, this is Satan. So he said, we just finished the, the adoration. You don't have to be fear. I said, you're right. So when he, we opened the door of the church, the snake was there <laughs> with his head high. And the, my spiritual advisor saw it. He blessed it, and whew, he goes right there. It was. Uh, and I saw also uh, a person during an exorcism who, uh, who fall on the floor, all around, you know, high like that. The movement of his body was like a snake when we make the exorcism. Yeah. And this is uh, something, you know. And also the people, you know, who have sexual problem. I tell you what I see. The people who have sexual problem. Uh, yeah, pornography, homosexuality, uh, abuse, sex uh, problem. When you have, a, if you have been abused, you must be delivered, you know. If you have fall inside of something that was involved uh, same-sex relation, you must be delivered by this uh, uh, devil. I saw, you know, when I lay my hand over the people, every time, it's like a, a, the snakes, you know, in, the, in this part of the body. A lot of snakes there. I think it's radiated to the sexuality. Probably this is, probably, I said, this is one of the reasons that, uh, you know, many of the theologians in the history of the church have associated often, you know, the snake with sexuality. But it doesn't mean that it is that. The sin was the sin of disobedience by Adam and Eve. But we must realize that the, something is there, you know? And this is why when you pray St. Michael prayer for yourself, ask him to deliver you from the snake of sexuality if you have some problem with that. He will help you, okay? This is very important. And this is what was said to the serpent But God the Father, because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and thus you shall eat all the day of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. And this is important here, because at that moment, something happened. You know that uh, Adam and Eve have to go out from the paradise. And uh, when they were out of the paradise, they have to work for their food, they suffer pain, and they, you know, they have to handle their own death also because of this. So we call that the original sin. The original sin has been there often. And one of the first manifestations that we have from this original sin, I make you aware of this because the battle will start over there. You know this kingdom, the matter of kingdom of God. 
It's a matter of paradise. It's a matter of eternity. It's a matter of our salvation. And this thing will start right there. And the first manifestation, it was the murder of Abel by Cain. And what happened to Cain? He was marked on the forehead. And this mark on his forehead will make him as a man who will not be killed by the other because they will be under the curse also, you know. And he transmit this to the generation that he had. And this transmission of generation, we call that the generation of Cain or the generation of darkness or the influence generation by the devil himself. It was a murder. During this time, you know, the just line has been made also through the fidelity and faithfulness of Adam and Eve and their other children. But a time came where the descendants of Adam who are enumerated in the book of Genesis was growing, but in the same time was another generation who grew. We call this generation the generation of Cain. And something happened to the humankind. The Lord saw that the weakness of humankind was great in the earth. I am the chapter 6 of book Genesis. And that every inclination of the thoughts of their hearts was only evil continually. So now we'll explain you something that I saw. <laughs> and it was also given to me through another message, I think it's two, in the year 2017. Also, God explained me that when I was young, and that this generation of Cain has fornicated with animals. And the fornication with the animal was also for Satan, the demons were at that time, to implement a new kind of races who will grow in the same time of that the line of the just will grow. And they will become really worst. And some will be giant, some will be look like beasts, and some will be named in different name, and uh, the Nephilim was the one of the names that you have in this generation. And some were, you know, looking. And are you ready? Well, well done now. Some were looking with a cone head. It's true what I said. This is what I saw. And some uh, they were giant, bigger than us. You know. And they have eyes like your famous alien have on the view. <laughs> and, you know, it's important what I said. You know, every word I said has a, a meaning. Because now today, many, many believe that we were not created by God. We were imported by alien people from another planet. And they use Egyptian things for that because they saw their eyes, they saw cone the head, you know, the king of Egypt with this big hat, you know, has Ra, Amen Ra. <laughs> and they, they present that. It's on the TV we wear. It's amazing how the devil can use also, you know, the imagination of the people to reach back with science, supposed, supposed science, reach back the root of humanity out of the creation of God. It's amazing, yeah? So this population... The words are clear here. Their hearts was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he has made humankind 
on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. It's something there. Because, you know, the creation become influenced a lot by the devil at that moment. But you will say to me, by where you come from, this devil? The devil was created, no, not by God, but he was created first as a good angel. And you found in the text of Ezekiel all the falling of this angel. So he was created good at his origin, but he was, with the text of Ezekiel, you see that God has given a lot of gifts and talents. They are comparing that in the text with some precious stone that he has. And we see that he has seduced others by promising to them to share this precious gift. What is this gift? Power. You know? Riches. Domination. And you can name them. So many was with him. And this is what's happened. And the description of the falling from this devil in the book of Ezekiel and also in the book of the Apocalypse was representing by one third of the star in heaven fall on earth. It means that the devil was falling on earth. And then when God created man and woman, it's amazing to see that the serpent was there in the paradise. Have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is a mistake by God. <laughs> no, it's not. Because, you know, an angel is always an angel. As you will be always human when you will enter in the kingdom of God. And when you will rise your body, you will stay a human in the kingdom of God. It means that the nature of the angel has never changed. And the nature of the angel is a spirit nature, a personal spirit one. It means that because of this, he has the vision. And he can have the vision of God. And he can be allowed to go where God wants him to go, this angel. And if the angel was put under the test by God himself, when after he created them, and this is why, you know, the devil said, I will not serve. And this is why at that moment when St. Michael, you know, go and said, who is like God? Exactly. So at that moment was the fight in heaven and one third of the star fall on earth. It means that the devil was in the paradise. Why do you think? We have to pass the test also. You know, the human race have to pass the same test that the, the angel have to pass through. And what was the test? of human race in paradise, obey to the word of God. Don't touch this tree, you know? And the devil knows that. And he was allowed by God to be there to test how Adam and Eve was strong. So you understand now the life of Padre Pio here? Why Padre Pio have so much, you know, fight with the devil all his life? Because Padre Pio was always test to save a soul. And every time that he fight, a day he said, I will have a big fish. <laughs> because he was fighting the devil to save a soul. This is exactly what's happened to him. 
So this is why, you know, you can see in the history of Padre that uh, when he met some people sometime, it was during a specific moment in their life where they were struggling for their own life and struggling for their own salvation. This is important here. So, this race was so bad, and the influence was so great that God was sad. This is what was saying the text. I am sorry that I have created them. But in the same time, in the heart of God, but Noah found favor in the sight of the Lord. It means Noah was the descendant of Adam and Eve, who was faithful to the obedience of God when he was out of paradise. And all the others was there, you know, they would look really ugly because, you know, they are following the devil fornication with them. You know, today, the devil, the devil is doing the same thing. Now the devil act with satanic cult, black mass. He use, we are all adult. He will use, you know, sperm of animal and man to be mixed, to, to be able to create new generation, new body. And it's already out. Yeah. It's already out. The devil, the devil from under will come out now in this world. You will see them. They will look sometimes like animals. A strange one. They will have behavior that, wow. And he already manipulate the genome, the DNA of the people. And he have inspired many scientific people who are belonging to the satanic cult, belonging to the Freemason. What is the Freemason? It's a satanic cult. Because when you are the level 30 over, you are in the satanic cult. You know, the, the Freemason come from of the old, you know, they, they were rise at the time of the cathedral. And this is why they changed their name by Freemason. But because of the people, the, the Mason people who was working for the cathedral, they, you know, to, they, they, they doesn't want these people work for that. So they organize, you know, like a union between them, if you want, to fight against this building. But when you have a real cathedral, you saw on the top of the cathedral the animal that we call, I don't know, I, in French we call that gargouille. Yeah, gargoyles. gargoyles? Ah, you see. And uh, it's amazing, huh? They are at the top and they are function there, they are just throw it out the water who come from the roof. They are condemned to that, you know, it's a symbolic thing. Mean that in hell, they are throwing out the fire, you know? But when they are on earth, and particularly in the, on the top of the cathedral, they are condemned not to throw out fire who can injure the people, but just throw out the, the water who can do nothing to the people. This is me. And when you are looking this, you know, we discover that these things are important. And the first lodge was existing in Egypt in the time, the whole time. This lodge of sorcery. I know that because as an exorcist, I have to face this lodge at different times. And also, when this, the Europe was, you know, and discover, they move, a, a part of this lodge move in Europe and become the second lodge. And when America was discovered, a part of the, this lodge of Europe 
move in America and become the third lodge. It means, and this third lodge, you know, of sorcerers, now they are out. You can see that everywhere. They make meeting uh, to curse your president, you know that. And they are outside now. They don't have to hide themselves under the name of Freemason no more. And they act in politic, in financial, and they act also in a religious place to pervert the true religion or to pervert the fate of the people to the true God. So what you see in the Bible, it is a sign, a sign who advise us already. Because, you know, when the devil has done a step in the world, he let a trace behind him. And when he will come back with a further step, he will bring all his dogs, I call them the dog of Satan, the generation of Satan. He will bring all these dogs with him who have habit in this step to make them developing more in a further step because he wants to fight against the kingdom of God. And this is exactly what's happened here. And because of the family of Noah, was the family who still there. Can you imagine they were alone inside of this, all this perfect people? Because of this, he ordered Noah to build an ark. An ark. It means... He knows that he will do, he will flood these people, eliminate them, because he must save what he has created. God will never destroy what he has created, I said this afternoon. You remember? So he will act before. So it means that at that moment, Noah has to be saved. And how he will save him? He will flood everything. And he must save for the future of this earth the animal who was stay pure without the influence of Satan who manipulate the animals to create new races. Why Satan did that? Because he tried to imitate God. He thinks that he is a God. He is proud, so he cannot create. Satan cannot create, but he can manipulate and have the impression that he has created something, you know? And he becomes proud inside of this. And this is what happened. And God had to act, because the only one who was still just was Noah and his family. And he had to save, and plus he had to save a pure couple of every kind that was at his eyes good for the future of the world. So when we are looking here, and this is what's happened, I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. Now I am going to destroy them along with the earth. Make yourself an ark of cypress. Cypress? Cypress. Wood, uh, sorry, cypress wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you are to make it. The land of the ark, 300 cubits, it will 50 Cubit and it ate 30 cubits. It's easy for me to pronounce that. <laughs> cubits. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cubits is really. <laughs> so, you know, and this is exactly what he's doing now. He's doing now the refuge. How come God can do a refuge? Why he need it? How come? He did that for Noah. Huh? 
Oh, yeah. We never read the Bible. We have the Bible you know, on the tablets there. And sometimes when you open it, <laughs> But remember, read all the Bible. You better to stop now. <laughs> but this is important because this is exactly what God is preparing now. He's preparing a refuge. Some refuge are more than a refuge. They are an ark. An ark. ark the ark of Noah. But some will be perhaps on, on water. Because God has many ways to save. Huh? Why not? And some will be on earth. I will say many will be on earth. This is important to realize it. And some refuge are looking more than a big lamb with animals and everything. And some are specified for, you know, we have a meeting of the refuge in the United States. The one who can cut. Some were for children, some for family, some for, you know, the handicapped people who need uh, some specific uh, help, and many of them, you know. It was amazing to see that. God has many, many thinking about how he will save his people. So this is important, and after that came the great flood. I will say something now who is not easy to present to you. Until that time, the next step, you know, after the flood, we are people, so the people stay there. And because of the original sin and the seduction of Satan again on the will of the people, came back another sin, another generation, the generation of Babel. You know, they want to build the, the uh, uh, yeah, but skyscraper. Huh? But it was tower. But well, represent the same thing. So high, they can reach heaven. It's a pride, huh? Huh? A generation of M. M, exactly. And because of this, you know, it's another step here that we will see. The development of the civilization at that moment permit to have these things. And the devil used it to attempt God. And you know what's happened to Babel. You know? God passed and he has confused their language. So they have to return back on the ground. <laughs> and they separate for different nations around because they cannot understand each other. The contrary of Babel, it's the Pentecost. Because at the Pentecost, when the apostle goes out, they speak in one language and everyone can understand, you know, by the gift of the Holy Spirit. And this is the gift of the church. And the church represents many nations now who hear all the same teaching and the same gospel. And it's a gift of the Pentecost through the church, through every one of you. Now I will talk about the growing of uh, Satan. Satan came back with a king in Deuteronomy, book of Deuteronomy 3.117. This uh, king was one of the head of uh, the power of all the kings around them with the defeat of king of Og. Og and Magog. You will heard them in the book of Revelation. And this, we know that God has prevailed to defend his people. And because, you know, he has promised and he said to his people at that moment, don't fear him. I will provide for you. He will reappear, this one, you know, in the 
he will reappear and we will see uh, him again in the, in the Bible. And when we see him in the Bible, he seems to be stronger than before. Because he has, you know, many who follow him at, the, at different times. Until the end of time. Why am I doing this? Because you want, I want you to understand that the Antichrist has a phase before the time of Christ. I will call him the anti-word or the anti-God. You know, it was the same Satan who transformed the word and the meaning of the word of the Eternal One that confused Adam and Eve to make them committed the, the original sin. So through the time, Og has been there. And for the people of Israel, for the tradition of the rabbi, now, when they talk about Og, they talk about the anti-God, the one they have to face at different times of their history, of their own people history. And the defeat of God in the book of Deuteronomy was coming back often. And the last time that they talk about Og in the people and the tradition of the people of Israel, you know one? It was with Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. And this is the one, the, the last time when they are facing for their own people, Og. But for us, we know that Adolf Hitler was an antichrist. Because, you know, we know that the way that he acts, he wants to destroy humanity. Not only the nation, he wants to dominate the world. You know, and everything that was done by the anti-God or the anti-Christ since that Christ came, you know, everything was done by this one has a meaning that when he will come back, he will use exactly the same step. But the steps are growing. What is the step you saw with Adolf Hitler? Gas chamber. You must tortures. Domination of nation. You know, uh, it was something. This tree. When you look the the past history. Adolf Hitler also researched for cult, esoteric cult. More than that. You know, I will uh, black cult. It means satanic cult. Because he researched the power. And you know what was in the head of Adolf Hitler? He wanted to find which harm he wanted to find from the satanic cult. They, they want to put their hands on this. It was the same with Og. The Ark of Israel. You know the heart was containing the, he researched for that, you know. He, he, this is why the SS was there. He was, they were under the influence of him, but him was possessed by Satan. And he possessed the SS. And this is why, you know, this uh, SS was terrible. The SS was the, the soldier under the right you know, order of Hitler. And when we, we are seeing that, it means when he will come back this time. Have you noticed that uh, here, I heard that in America, in the uh, United States, uh, I heard that, uh, I think it's from John, 800 detention. detention centers now. They are not only detention centers, they are really big. You know, 
We have also ours in Canada. They have every kind of thing inside of this, you know. Why they are doing this? Who's doing this? What is the reason to do that? Who manipulated the government to do it? Has the puppet now? Because, you know, they pay for their financial part when they, they, they run to be elect. Who financial these people? The Illuminati. The Illuminati around the world. There are 120 who control all the money everywhere. And the, the, they call them, with a nice, polite word, financial. You know, the fi International Financial Bank. Yeah. And they control everything. Do you think that the, the minister who goes there, you know, to be elect are not, hey, little guy, you want to be elect? You will need money. We will push you. This is what's happened. And this is why they don't like Trump, your president. Because he doesn't need their money. <laughs> you know, this is the fact. But through these things now, what we will see, we will face again hog. But for this time, it will not be just for the Jew. It will be for all nations. Because his time is shorter and he knows that. And this is what he will do. And what he will do, he will reach back what he has done. And if we are a little bit intelligent, and we are, yeah. <laughs> we can see the trace of the pestilence he has done in the past. And now we can see these things are not from God. You know, because we have this experience. But it's amazing. Uh, when the time, and I will finish with that, you know, when it was the time of the second war, before the second wars, everyone danced the Charleston. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, they have, uh, you know, the things on their head. <laughs> then the Charleston. And now we have everything upside down in the world. And boop, 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 money. <laughs> You know, ça do every kind of thing. You are just talking to them. Huh? I don't think I don't think It's amazing. <laughs> Foolish virgin who have nothing in their lamp. Emptiness in their heart. In their head also no more brain because the drug eat the brain of the people. If you want to control the people, give the drug. They have no more judgment, no more critics, no more capacity to whoop, stand up. Ugh. You know? So, before the second war, we dance, and now we drug. The drug is everywhere now, accepted by the law of many governments, you know, in different places. Plus, this time we will face three head, and I will come back on this. The Antichrist will have three head. Heads, you know, the part here on the shoulder. <laughs> so he will have three. One will be politic, the worldwide government. One will be finance, you know, the bank. But they will not use the same paper, clips the people. This is what they will do. They will chip everyone. And the third one will be religious. But the third one will be the worst one. Because he have to sit on the seat of Peter. Do you believe that Satan, oh, I reserve this part, but 
Do you believe that the devil is interested by the political name? Oh, <laughs> mean domination, he have already domination, he just, just look around. Do you believe that he's interested only by? No way. He wants to defeat who? God. God. He wants to defeat God in his son, Jesus. Eh? He wants to defeat Jesus. And this is why he wants to sit on the seat of Peter. This is why it will be the worst one. You understand now? The two others will be puppets for him. Like the, the book of the Apocalypse said, he will have a presentation of a lamb, but he will w talk with the word of the dragon. Yeah. This is. And I finish. <laughs> Be not afraid. <laughs>